Hello, I'm Paul O'Brien, producer of the Oracle of Changes. We are pleased to invite you for an interview with Dr. Katya Walter. Katya, what has been your primary area of study as a scientist? In 1985, I first grew interested in the I Ching. I was studying in Switzerland at the C.G. Jung Institute at that time. I soon began to realize that there was an amazing correlation between DNA structure and I Ching structure. Gradually, I realized that the root behind both of them was the common denominator of chaos theory. This has been my area of special interest since that time. How would you best characterize the I Ching? The I Ching uh, could be characterized as an oracle. You ask it questions and it gives you answers, but I think it's really much more than that. It is a mathematical structure that is amazingly efficient as well as an object of great psychological interest because it computes for the flow of the psyche, the flow of mind. And that's essentially what you're asking about when you ask a question to the I Ching. How does the psyche flow? When did you realize the correlation between the I Ching and DNA? In the summer of 1985, I was reading Martin Schoenberger's book, uh, DNA and the I Ching. I began to realize gradually, while I was in Switzerland, that part of what he said I agreed with, but part of it I did not. I thought I knew the I Ching pretty well by that time. And I saw that he was missing some of the correlations that, to me, seemed evident about DNA structure and I Ching structure. I began to realize eventually that the common denominator of chaos theory offered a way to explain how we in the West could find a structure that coded for the flesh, DNA is what we called it, and 5,000 years ago, the Chinese could find a structure, mathematically identical, that coded for the flow of psyche and call it the I Ching. It seemed to me that we in the West had taken one route, and those in the East long ago had taken another route that led to the same goal. And that common goal could be found and typified as the new science of chaos theory. I wrote The Tao of Chaos, which is uh, published by Element Books, and also is published by the Kairos Center. I particularly like this edition because it has chaos patterning on the front cover. And I wanted to show that this is the place where a paradigm brings the very old of the East and the very new of the West together. To me, that's extremely important because it shows that at a certain place in the very depths of mathematical theory, we can find a meeting for the body and the mind. It heals a split that we've had in the West for about 200 2,500 years, where the mind and the body were slowly split away from each other, until in Cartesian thought, you can find that uh, they're quite separated. I think it's time for us to bring them back together. The body and the mind are integral at, at when you go deep enough. And I think that chaos theory can show that with DNA and the I Ching. What does this seem to tell us about the I Ching? I think it tells us that the I Ching is based on valid mathematical principles. It's not just soothsaying. It is a mathematical structure to which is attached a whole philosophical system. This philosophical system gives us answers that correlate to a mathematical reality at the deepest level of physical and mental activity. 
How did the Chinese come to find such a thing 5,000 years ago? I've often wondered that. And in my book, I talk about that, in fact. I've had a number of possible answers, uh, such as uh, from one extreme, it could have been found in that deepest region of mathematical truth that sometimes autistic people can, can touch upon. It could have been found even, you know, it could have been brought from another cultures. I've been suggested that it could have even come from an extraterrestrial culture. I don't know. But it is, it is a valid mathematical system. It is mirrored in DNA itself, which is at the deepest level of our physical being. I think that the mathematical structure that you can find in the I Ching shows us that there is a truth at a level so deep that e it even goes be below our organic chemistry level. I think it goes below organic chemistry, below inorganic, inorganic chemistry, to physics itself, which is the foundational science. If this correlation stands scrutiny, what kind of possibilities does it point to? The I Ching offers us a way to examine physics at a deeper level, paradoxically. I think that the mathematical system of the I Ching is actually a highly compact shorthand for a kind of mathematics that help, can help us describe the nature of space, time, and matter and energy. That is the deepest level of reality in the physical sense. But the I Ching can also help us discover the nature of reality in a mental sense, the mind aspects. We've not been able to do that very concretely in a scientific manner thus far because we split matter and mind so far apart in Western science. But by using the I Ching mathematics, I think that we can find a way to talk about superstrings, for example, more exactly and more compactly. I think at the deepest level of reality, we can find number. And number is not the cold thing that we have often thought it to be in Western science. I think number has a linear aspect in which you add up things, or you multiply things, or you divide things that are finite units, and you get quantity. But I think that number also has a qualitative aspect, a relational aspect, that has resonances. And these resonance bring, resonances bring in pools of connectivity. It is not linear cause and effect. It is nonlinear. It is a causal, or what we in the West have called a causal. You know, uh, Carl Jung said that synchronicity is an a causal connecting principle, which makes things come together in a way that the logical mind can't explain. I think, however, it can be explained. It is a causal when we don't know how to explain the cause. And I think the cause is really there, and it has to do with analog resonance, which relates one thing to another. So at this deepest level of reality, I think we find number, which has both the linear, linear quantitative aspect and the analog qualitative aspect. Quality and quantity both going together to create the nature of reality.